worked with Ed on the mental health unit for seven years. Uh, the, last, the first six were as his co-worker and now as his manager. Ed is compassionate, he's caring, he's able to put himself in the patient's shoes, he's supportive of families that are interacting with the patients in our units, and he helps them come up with a way to be successful outside of these doors. He rises above everything that we could expect of a nurse uh, in our building. He uh, uh, truly has that, that compassion and that empathy that he brings to the table based on, to some degree, his own experiences. And so as a result of that, uh, Ed is, is um, really able to connect with our patients. Um, we receive many comments back from patients and their family members about the positive experiences that they've had with Ed. I'm not really a, a spotlight kind of guy, but I'm good at talking with people. Like I enjoy, I'm not one to sit at the desk much. If I have time, I'll probably plop down in a chair next to somebody in the patient's room and just talk and bring a little lightness to them, a little happiness, a little, you know, not a tube, not another, I don't, I'm not here to give you another pill, you know, I'm not here to give you another injection, you know, just, just to see how you're doing, basically. I think Ed emulates what we want all our staff to do. He does work with the patients in a patient way. He lets them talk. He's very therapeutic in listening to what they're saying. He actually hears what they're saying. He's not trying to put words in their mouth. Gives the, them the time that they need. Having a good ear and listening to someone's problems and letting them express how they feel, you may not feel that relief, but they do. Well, I, I know that the one example that I've heard about uh, over the last uh, several months is uh, an instance where Ed we had a patient uh, with autism uh, who was uh, really becoming very, very agitated and, and we were concerned about his safety and the safety of our other patients. Ed took it upon himself to uh, connect with that patient, um, embrace that patient and really help that patient through a very difficult time and in the process of doing that really prevented the need for something more uh, restrictive such as restraints or seclusion. I don't believe there was any other outbursts after that. Um, what that one situation did to change the whole picture, I'm unsure, but I do know that it was the best way to care for that patient in the moment. I think it's very tough for Ed to receive this award. I don't think that he believes that it is an exceptional thing or that he did an exceptional thing in the moment. I think, you know, we've had the conversation where, you know, how does he feel and he feels that it was the right thing at the right time, and that's what he does every day. I've used my life experience through the, the years that I've been a substance abuse nurse to really relate and to empathize with the, with the population that I work with because I've been in their shoes. I've been, I've been broken. I've been, you know, I've been to the point where I thought there was no use for me anymore. The message I would like to get across to patients is that don't let some action define who you are for the rest of your life. Um, give yourself a chance, you know, take the opportunity to take this treatment seriously, take a good look at your life, everything can be accomplished. If you, if you, if you stay focused, and in my case, just stay humbled and don't use, and stay away from that environment. I mean, there's a culture, there's an environment. Of, of using that, that I can't be a part of. And that was one of the most difficult parts of cleaning up is people, places, and things. Um, there's, there's not a better feeling knowing that you're going to discharge someone who has hope, who has hope that was prior to coming to those doors did not have any hope. You know, Ed has, has made it a, a life commitment to really um, serve those with mental health and substance abuse issues, and uh, he's extremely passionate about that. He has a really positive outlook on life, and uh, when I ask Ed on a given day uh, how he's doing, uh, his typical response is, I'm living the dream. And you know, for, for Ed, those are more than just words. That's really um, how he feels about how things are going in his life and the commitment that he's made back here to the medical center. I could not have done all of this by myself. I could not be the, in this position if I didn't have the support of everybody in every area.